Good morning, guys. T from Focus Trades, and let's get you all ready for today's session. So, thus far, guys, the story of the week has been Tesla. And if you're a subscriber of mine, and if you're in the Focus Trades group, we've been talking about this setup, guys, since early last week. We have the daily squeeze. We had a four-hour squeeze. We had an hourly squeeze. And you even had a 30-minute squeeze. So, in plain English, guys, Tesla has been chilling out, sitting sideways, collecting dust here, squeezing on multiple different time frames. And here's how we made some really good money on Tesla this week. And guys, this one trade on Tesla, I'm not going to say it makes the month of June, but we're off to a damn good start. So, when you can identify a triple squeeze or a quadruple squeeze where a stock is building up energy, preparing to release that energy on multiple different time frames, this is the kind of leads that it moves to. You know, and a couple members of the Focus Trades group yesterday, guys, were asking questions, you know, a bit surprised as to why is Tesla up so much. It's a freaking squeeze. It's that simple. We've been building up energy for the entire month of April. The energy is just finally starting to get released yesterday. And that's what gives us, guys, those big, beautiful moves. Here's the thing, though. If you're jumping into Tesla calls yesterday, your ass is late to the party, in my opinion. If you jumped in here yesterday, guys, Premiums have already exploded, not only from Friday's rally, but from the big gap open. Implied volatility is through the roof. So in a lot of ways, guys, you're overpaying for those calls. They're pretty damn inflated. Now, in the event of something like yesterday, you get in and it keeps on moving, you're in good shape. But keep in mind, guys, in my opinion, you're late to the party, and that's the worst time to be buying those options. I think the best way to trade these squeezes is to initiate your position inside the squeeze right near that mid Bollinger Band, right near that 21 EMA, because implied volatility is low. And when you get your entry in here, guys, by the time the breakout happens, you're already deep in the green, which is exactly what happened here with Tesla. Inside the squeeze, we're short and puts at 800, we're short and puts at 700, we're short and puts at 810. We get the explosive move at the open yesterday, guys. All of those uh, credit spreads were at about 70 to 80% of max profit. So, Simple as that, guys. That's how it's done. Awesome, awesome, awesome trade there. And then towards the tail end of the day, took a little bit of the profit we secured from the three credit spreads and got one more position that expires this Friday. So for this Friday's expiration, guys, I did a put credit spread shorting the 870 puts. And we're just looking for some, continuita, continuita, some continuation here. So simple stuff, guys. And listen, I don't try to promote the group in every single video. But, you know, my private trading group is $10 a month. It's $2.50 a week. You know, you could go walk around your local Target parking lot, your local Walmart parking lot. You're going to find $2.50 a change. So if you guys really want to learn how to attack these setups, and if you really want to get insights from someone who's been trading from home full time for the last six, seven years, join the Focus Trades group, guys. $2.50 a week. I'll teach you how to catch moves like this. So... On to a couple of others here, guys. I'll update you on my swing positions. We are out of gold. So we've been riding the put credit spread, shorting these 157 puts in gold, collecting premium. Gold really hasn't gone anywhere, but premium decay works in our favor. So we closed our position, guys, the 157 put spread yesterday for about 70 or so percent of max profit. Moving on to the next one. Nice and simple. We do still have our call credit spread shorting UMP, selling calls up here at 175, looking for the reversion to the mean. Really simple, guys. This one looking like it's a bit too far gone from that 21 EMA, and we're looking for that nice, healthy retracement. So a couple more weeks left to expiration. We got about six bucks or so of cushion at the moment. We'll see if we can continue to fade in here, but that setup, guys, isn't looking all that bad. And then restoration hardware for next Friday's expiration. We've been short in these 245 calls and a call credit spread. So about 30 bucks a cushion, about a week or so and a half away from expiration. Same deal here, guys. Looking for the reversion to the mean. Once you get about two to three average true range moves away from that 21 EMA, typically going to see the stock come in a little bit or bare minimum just simply slow down. So as long as we stay under 245 by next Friday, that'll be a nice paycheck there on restoration hardware. And then two new positions from yesterday, guys. It's looking like the queues 
are bouncing back nicely. If you look at QQQ, if you look at NQQ, we got a couple of squeezes, guys, four hour squeezes, hourly squeezes. So very interesting. And then you got Google here and a beautiful hourly and four hour squeeze yesterday as well. So looking for continuation, guys, looking for a potential breakout on Google as we fill that gap fill level from the daily chart. I'm shorting puts down here at 1420. Shorten the 1420 puts. If the squeeze fires, we'll make money. If the squeeze fires and fails, we'll make money. Go sideways, we make money. Fade a little bit, make money. As so long as we close Friday above 1420, we got a paycheck coming our way. So Google looks good, guys. And then the last one is more of a you know multi-week swing trade. Simple stuff here. We've seen signs of rotation this week, money heading into energies, financials, industrials, transportation stocks. So what I've been doing, guys, is looking through the top 10 holdings in each sector and looking for what I consider to be favorable setups. EOG here is in a nice little trend right now. Back to the 21, continuation. Back to the 21, continuation. Back to the 21, continuation. Back to the 21, looking for a continuation. So I did a put credit spread, shorten the 50 puts here, guys. And if we look at the open, nice little gap towards the upside. So really simple. We've identified a stock that appears to be beginning a nice little trend towards the upside. And we're looking for the continuation, guys, after you get the normal, healthy, expected pullback towards that 21 EMA. So EOG, Google, Tesla, UMP, RH, those are the open positions at the moment, guys. And like I mentioned, with Tesla yesterday, you only need one of these a month. You get yourself positioned, the move works. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. So I appreciate all of you so much for watching, guys. I know I put these videos out pretty early in the morning, especially considering, you know, we got people watching from all over the world. But I do admire you guys for your work ethic. You do want to become better traders. I can tell by how often you guys watch the videos, regardless of how late, how early they get posted. So I got a lot of respect and appreciation for you guys. But that's it for this morning. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Go whip some ass today, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow morning. Peace out.